The food you eat affects how smooth your skin is, how clear it is, and how quickly it ages. And that's fantastic news, because if you think about it, you typically apply skincare twice a day. But with food, you have the power to enhance your skin literally every time you eat. Now, there are loads of videos on YouTube talking about what skincare to use at what age. This video is a little different. We're going to talk about what to eat at every age to get your skin looking its best now and in the years to come. And we'll also talk about the skincare you can use to enhance these effects. Today we're going to cover your 20s and your 30s and next time we'll look at your 40s, your 50s and beyond. This is a targeted guide to deep skincare from the inside out. And as ever, it's all backed by science. So a quick hello if you're new here. My name is Fiona and I'm a registered nutritionist with a master's degree in nutritional medicine. On this channel, we talk about how to eat for great skin because true skincare starts on your plate. If you haven't already, please consider hitting the subscribe button because it really helps the channel. Right, let's get into this. We're kicking off with inside out skincare for your 20s. Now in terms of aging, this is your golden decade. Your collagen production is still pretty good, so signs of aging are pretty minimal. But you might still have some lingering concerns from your teenage years, things like breakouts. So we're going to address both of these with some smart food principles. The first principle is to get in the habit of eating sun protection foods daily. These are foods and drinks that have been shown to boost your skin's own natural defenses against the sun. Some of the most powerful choices include sweet potato, cooked tomato products, and also green tea. These foods all contain special plant compounds that travel to your skin when you eat them and literally act like a mild sunscreen from the inside out. And you probably don't care that much now, but in years to come, this extra degree of sun protection is going to pay dividends. We're talking fewer fine lines, fewer wrinkles, and a more even skin tone. So get in the habit now. This can be as easy as having a cup of green tea with your breakfast one day, the next day putting a handful of sun-dried tomatoes on your salad, and the day after that, it could be having a sweet potato with your dinner. For more information on why and how these foods work, you can check out this video. Right. Your second principle is to eat naturally fermented foods daily. You've probably heard of these because they're everywhere these days. We're talking things like sauerkraut and kimchi and kombucha and kefir. These can be particularly helpful if you're still suffering from breakouts in your 20s. And incidentally, if you are, know that you're not alone. Research suggests that up to about 50% of women and 40% of men still have breakouts in their 20s, and these numbers are only going up. But early research suggests that eating naturally fermented foods can help your skin via the gut-skin axis. One study showed that drinking fermented milk or kefir daily helped to clear breakouts by up to a third after 12 weeks. And another study showed that taking a type of bacteria extracted from kimchi could help to clear breakouts by about 50%, which are pretty extraordinary results. Focusing on your gut health now is also going to have other benefits because other research suggests that having the right bacteria in there can affect your skin's pH and its barrier function. So a couple of tablespoons of kimchi are totally worth it. Get in the habit of having one type of naturally fermented food daily. Kefir and kimchi and sauerkraut and kombucha are some of the more potent choices, but even some natural yogurt or some miso soup are a great starting point. In terms of what you put on your skin, your 20s should be all about sunscreen. And I know this is boring. And full admission, I wasn't great about sunscreen in my 20s, which I now regret. But this is the picture that finally convinced me that it was worth the effort. This 92-year-old woman applied sunscreen to her face for 40 years, but not her neck. And my word, you can see the difference. I'm personally using this sunscreen at the moment, which is an investment, but there are loads of really good options out there these days. And don't forget that along with the sunscreen, other sun protection behaviors are important too. So that includes staying out of the sun in the real heat of the day and wearing protective items like sunglasses and hats, which in my opinion, are just an excuse to look a little bit glamorous. And if you're worried about vitamin D production, you should know that your face isn't great at making vitamin D anyway. For that, you want to expose your forearms and your legs before the real heat of the day. 
Right, so for your 20s, you want to eat sun protection foods daily, you want to eat naturally fermented foods daily, and you want to wear the sunscreen. Before we move on to skincare for your 30s, let me just say that if you're interested in this concept of leveraging food as skincare, you want to download my free guide, Skincare Starts on Your Plate, The Jump Start Guide. You can find it on my website, fionalawsonnutrition.com, and I will also pop it in the video description box below for you. Right, moving on to inside out skincare for your 30s. Now this is where I'm at and it's definitely the decade where you notice some changes. Signs of aging start creeping in and it's also a decade where your skin can go through some hormonal stuff, especially if you're having children. So again, we'll use two tactical food principles to address these. The first one is to eat protein for breakfast. Now this sounds really random, but it can have a staggering effect on your hormones and therefore your skin. Research suggests that eating the right kinds of foods first thing can help to stabilize your blood sugar for the rest of the day. And stable blood sugar will help you regulate the hormone insulin, which in turn influences your androgen hormones, which in turn affects how oily your skin is, how prone to inflammation it is, and ultimately how clear it is. And this is particularly important in times of hormonal flux, like when you're pregnant, for example. Stable blood sugar also helps to minimize a process called glycation, which is essentially where excess sugars stick to your collagen fibers, making them stiff and making your skin more prone to wrinkling. Now that's a lot of detail, but basically what it boils down to is stable blood sugar equals clearer, younger looking skin. Now research suggests that the magic happens when you consume between 20 and 25 grams of protein at breakfast. In practice, that could be an omelette made with three whole eggs plus a little ham or smoked salmon or feta cheese on the side. It could be a good dollop of Greek yogurt with some flaxseed and some blueberries and a sprinkling of nuts. Or it could even be a protein shake made with a good scoop of high quality protein powder. You don't need to get obsessive about portion sizes or numbers. You just need to get into the habit of eating something hearty and sustaining and more often than not savoury for your breakfast. If you're looking for meal ideas, again you can download my Jumpstart guide which is linked in the video description box below. The second food principle for your 30s is to eat a fruit or a vegetable or a type of salad every time you eat. Now if you think that eating more fruits and vegetables sounds boring, let me show you some of the science. Research has demonstrated that eating more fruits and vegetables can A. give you a natural glow that is perceptible to other people, B. it can prevent signs of aging like wrinkles and dark spots or hyperpigmentation, and C. it may even promote a healthy acidic pH for your skin, which is exactly what you want to stay looking younger longer. I could go on. Basically, fruits and vegetables are filled with nutrients and phytonutrients that have both a protective and regenerative effect on your skin, which is exactly what you want in your 30s. So why wouldn't you eat them? The easiest way to get in enough is simply to eat a fruit or a vegetable or a type of salad every time you eat. So whatever you're having for breakfast, chuck a handful of blueberries on it. Whether you're having pizza or pasta or a sandwich for lunch, just have a side salad with it. If you're having a snack, have an apple with whatever that snack is. You get the picture. It's a little mindset shift, but as I say, doing this is going to make you glow in the short term and it's going to make you maintain your youthfulness over the longer term. In terms of what to put on your skin, your 30s are a great time to bring in a vitamin C serum. Along with your sunscreen, which you've been using since your 20s, this is going to give you that extra bit of sun protection. It also helps to protect you from pollution and it has a gentle anti-aging effect. My current favorite vitamin C serum is this one. It contains the active form of vitamin C, which is ascorbic acid, but I find it's still pretty gentle on the skin and it's really cost effective. There are loads of other forms of vitamin C in skincare, which you can learn more about in this video. Now, vitamin C in skincare does have some pretty solid research behind it, but you should know that the more vitamin C you have in your body, the less you actually absorb from your skincare. It's kind 
kind of like your skin just needs it less. But I like to cover all my bases, so I eat loads of vitamin C rich fruits and vegetables, and I top it off with a vitamin C serum every morning. So those are your tactics for your 30s. Alongside what you learn in your 20s, you want to eat protein for breakfast, eat a fruit or a vegetable or a type of salad every time you eat, and use a vitamin C serum in your skincare routine. I hope you found that interesting and helpful. Next time we will cover skincare for your 40s, your 50s and beyond, and we'll be talking collagen supplements and the foods that you definitely shouldn't be afraid of. So check back for that. Thank you for watching this until the very end and I will see you next time for another video on nutritional skincare.